Hi you guys, so I'm starting this vlog as I just got out of the shower, which is very interesting because it's almost exactly midnight. So, um, I have like 30 seconds until it's midnight, which I should have just started this at midnight to be honest, because then I could have put the date on the screen. I don't know what I'm doing here. Um, but anyways, I just got out of the shower. Today is Friday, about to be Saturday technically. Um, and y'all saw in the last vlog, my sister and I got matching tattoos. But anyway, um, like I keep saying, I just showered. So this is pretty much ready to come off because I say three to five days. Today is technically five and it's easiest to take it off when you just get out of the shower. So that's what I'm doing. Oh, that feels so relieving. Y'all have no idea if you've had this before, if you have tattoos, then you probably understand, but that feels so relieving. Oh my god. It's like scratching an itch because it gets so itchy as it's healing. So it's like scratching an itch that you haven't been able to scratch, peeling that off. Ah, okay. I just wanted to film that clip really quick of me doing that. And here is the tattoo. But um, yeah, I promised in the last vlog that I would do that on the next vlog so that's what i'm here for other than that i'm gonna pick this vlog up in a few days and i actually have something interesting which i don't know when it's gonna be to be honest with you but um i do have a victoria's secret order coming on like tuesday so i think i'm gonna vlog that for you guys as well as one day next week my sister and i are supposed to go to the mall a different mall than from where we got these actually it's like an outlet mall which I'm excited about because, you know, discount stores. Um, so, probably Victoria's Secret haul and maybe a mall haul in this vlog. But other than that, I don't know. But um, I know, like, the next two days, Saturday and Sunday, I don't really have... Well, I do have things, but they're not things that I'm going to vlog. So, um... Anyways, I'm gonna quit rambling so I can actually get ready for bed because it's midnight and tomorrow I have things to do. So, talk to y'all in the next clip, which you'll see in like two seconds. And for me, I don't know when that will be. <laughs> Hello guys, so welcome to another clip. Um, it's a different day, quite a few days later. Um, I really haven't had anything to vlog like I think I told y'all in the last clip. I'm pretty much just vlogging whenever there's something to vlog about. Um, but right now I have something exciting. So, I ordered a bunch of stuff from Victoria's Secret. I'm excited about it and like I've been telling you on this channel, I really want to keep things super real. So, this is a part of my life and I think it's fun. I'm excited about it. So, I'm going to share. Now we're just going to get started. <laughs> All right, so I have two different packages. This was all from the same order, but they probably came from different shipment centers, I'm assuming, since they sent it in two. But this is literally just one pair of underwear. The rest is all in here. So, um, I have the app, and basically I am going to look at the prices of everything and what I paid, and I did a lot of it on sale because as of buying the stuff, they were having their semi-annual sale. I don't know if they still will be having that by the time you're seeing this video, but I bought a bunch of stuff because it's their semi-annual sale. And a lot of my bras recently have been hurting. So I ordered some that will hopefully not give me that problem. I also forgot to mention y'all, if you hear noises, my parents are watching TV right now. So, um that's what it is but that's pretty much normal for this channel to be honest but um anyways we're gonna actually get into the stuff i got now so basically i am rather blessed i guess you could say as far as here and um i have a lot of problems finding my size even in victoria's secret they pretty much only have my size in t-shirt bras and that is it so i'm gonna show you what i got and i hope it's gonna work I'm obviously not going to try stuff on on camera, but I will try it on and give you my thoughts after I try it on. But right now, I'm just opening everything. So, this is the first tiny package 
which is just the one pair of underwear, I'm pretty sure. Ooh, I got $25 off to use from February 23rd to March 8th. Cool. Like I said, keeping it real, y'all, you're literally gonna see my underwear on camera. And I feel a little awkward about it, but it's okay. Um, this is the no-show thong in like a purpley color and for underwear I have size small here's one so they do their deal that is like five for $32 or something like that so when they do it that way each one is six dollars and forty cents so six dollars and forty cents okay now literally everything else is gonna be in this bag this underwear is sparkly. I don't think I bought anything sparkly. You know what? This one right here is sparkly. I thought it wasn't, but it is. Okay. Love that. Well, I have a pair of underwear that's sparkly that I did not mean to buy sparkly, but it's sparkly. <laughs> okay. It literally says shimmer in the name. I must just be stupid. Okay. Got it. Um... Ooh, I kind of hate the texture. Okay, love that. Anyway, this is the No Show Shimmer Thong. And again, $6.40 and a size small. Next we have the Seamless Plaid Thong Panty. $6.40. Y'all, I cannot believe I'm showing you my underwear on camera. Also, the lighting is currently so terrible. Okay, here we go. Maybe that's a little better. I literally cannot believe I'm showing you my underwear on camera, but here we are. So this next one is the No Show Hip Hugger. So this is like a blue color. Again, size small. And again, $6.40. Alright, next we have a pair with hearts on it. This one is the Lace Up Thong Panty. I thought it was cute with the hearts. Again, size small. And again, $6.40. And that should be... Yes, so that's my five pairs for the... Five for 32. And... I have one more pair of underwear that I got for free, actually. Because when you sign up for their app, you get a free one. At least that's what they did when I signed up. So this is, again, a size small. Again, a blue color. I told you the wrong name earlier, I think. Yes. For this one, I told you this is just the no-show cheeky panty. And this is the no-show hip hugger. I told you the wrong name. And this is the one that I got completely for free. For signing up for their app so all right there's my underwears and then we have a few more things so I have a pair of leggings which I'm literally so excited about because um oh yes they're very soft okay so this is again a size small and these are the leggings with like the cross the maroon color and then the flare at the bottom so I don't have any leggings like this I mostly have the leggings that are just like tight to your skin and the best part about these is there's a pocket right here which is honestly not big enough for like literally anything but there is a pocket <laughs> so leggings and these were uh, these were on some sort of deal for $19.99 and these are the cotton high waist ankle V crossover flare that's a long name but that's what these are called because the tag on here says $44.95, but I only paid $20, so I think they're on clearance or something. And now, the rest of the stuff is bras. So I wanted to buy some bras that don't have wires in them, because most of mine do. And recently that's been kind of bothering me. So, um, like I told y'all, keeping it real, so I'm going to tell you my size, which... Is a 32 triple D. Um, 
this is why I have problems finding my size and things that are actually cute. You'll probably notice that most of this isn't really that cute. And if it is cute, I got it in a size that technically isn't my size. Because they don't make cute stuff in my size. And here's my thing. I've tried so many different places to look for 32 triple D. Which, if you're not familiar, I'm sure you are if you're watching this clip about bras. But the number is your size around and then the letter is your size, your cup size. So my cup size is rather large, but then around I'm small. So it's almost impossible to find 32 triple. And when you do find it, most of the time it's not cute. And if it is cute, then you're just really lucky. But um, Victoria's Secret has it, but like I said, only really t-shirt bras, not really anything that cute. And then um, most of their bralettes and stuff are only small, medium, large, extra large. I cannot do those when they're that sizing because I need a small as far as like the band, but then I would need like a large or an extra large as far as the cup size. So it does not work for me. So anyways, I'm rambling. This is the first brawl I got. This one is the lightly lined wireless brawl in the purple color. And on the inside, it's actually like pink. But this is the first one. I got it for $14.99. And the tag on here originally says $42.50. So, gosh, yeah. I pretty much only got stuff that was on clearance because I don't love paying full price for this stuff. All right. Next. This is also a 32 triple. And this is the Angel Light Lightly Lined Wireless Bra. So this is just black with like a tan on the inside. And I paid, again, $20 for it. So really nothing special. All right, the next two I got are also the last two. I got in bralettes. And recently they started selling their small, medium, and larges in a double D as well. So this one is a small double D, which I'm hoping works for me. Um, it still might be a little bit small, but um, it's a velvet black one and it's quite pretty. It's got um, crosses in the back. You know, the lighting is terrible. What's happening? Okay. Anyway, that's this one. Finally, the one that I think is the cutest. So this is a medium double D, so I'm hoping again that it works. Um, this is another bralette one, and it's very cute and lacy in like the purpley maroon color. Gosh, this is normally 60 bucks, but I paid, what, 20. So happy with my purchases and I'm gonna try all this on and tell you how I feel. Hi you guys, so it's been a few days and I've done a lot of shopping. Um, today my sister and I went to the mall and yesterday we went to Goodwill. Her days off work are Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Um, this week she did have to work on Monday though, so we didn't really do anything, but um, I hang out with her a lot on her days off. So, um, if y'all can't tell by these vlogs, you can probably tell because, um, last week on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, we also were doing stuff together. So, um, anyway, yeah, I just thought I'd mention that since I don't think I have in any of the vlogs yet, but, um, it is now later in the evening. So I'm going to show you everything I got from Goodwill yesterday, as well as the stores that I went to today at the mall. So first I'm going to start with Goodwill because... I'm just gonna go in order. Alrighty. I have only clothes from Goodwill, which I did buy a little bit of yarn um, today, but that's gonna be on the main channel. This is just gonna be clothes and puzzles is pretty much what I have to show you. So let's see here. This is Goodwill, like I said. So first I have this little tank top, which I love little tiny tank tops like this because um, you probably know I have my belly button pierced so I like 
crop tops and then like high-waisted shorts and then or pants and um that way I can show off whatever belly button ring I am wearing but this was originally two dollars and 98 cents but I got it for one dollar and 49 cents because um if you're not familiar Goodwill does a different color tag each week as half off and this week it was red tag and this one is a red tag but I think this is the only one I got that was red tag and somehow this is a large um I'm normally a small to medium and it fits me so I don't know normally when I'm a Goodwill I go through like most of the sizes to be honest because um like I said I'm normally small to medium sometimes in large things have like shrunk because other people owned them so um I could fit into those which I think is what happened with that tank top and then um there's also some oversized things that I like to wear so I kind of go through all the sizes even like the men's section and stuff and the brand for this is Romley which I think I've heard of but I don't have anything from so that is that next I have this American Eagle top which is an extra small but um fits me pretty well and like I said I'm normally small to medium so I really don't know on that but this is um a like flowery top and it's got a little pocket here and buttons and then it also has the little um ends here to tie which I like a lot on shirts so it says small here but the tag on the inside says extra small so I don't really know but this was four dollars and 98 cents all right next I have a sweater which is kind of this um I don't even know what this pattern is called but one of these patterns with the triangles and stuff on it and it's a little bit oversized on me but it's got buttons and stuff and this is a medium and again for 98 so um it's a little bit large on me but I like to do outfits where I wear like kind of a plain tank top like this and then like a flannel or some sort of jacket over the tank top during the like winter time just because in Florida it'll be cold in like the morning time or the evening time and then during the day it is not cold at all it gets rather hot so um that's what I like to do that's even what I did today I had a flannel on top of this this morning and then took it off when we were walking around the mall because it is an outdoor mall so um it got rather hot today with the flannel on anyways um next I have a flannel like I was just talking about this is a small and it was $5.98 and the brand is J Crew. so it's quite a bit wrinkled so I'm definitely gonna wash this and like dry it so I hope it won't be as wrinkly but um just a plain flannel that's blue and gray so I liked this one because even like this tank top I'm wearing right now it'll go well with I picked that up and the final thing is from the men's section this is a man's shirt button-up shirt and it was $4.98 again this is 2xl but I found it and I love it because it's little um it's like a Hawaiian print and there's a little like car with surfboards on top of it and stuff flowers and pineapples and things so um a lot of these I also thought would be really cute with like crochet tops so this I feel like for the summertime with a crochet bikini top maybe and like shorts on the beach I feel like would be a very cool outfit I don't know that much about style so maybe I'm wrong about that but um I think it'd be cool so anyways that's what I got from Goodwill yesterday now we're gonna get on to what I got at the mall today all right again just gonna go in the order that I went to each store so yes I did go to Victoria's Secret again yes y'all saw Victoria's Secret haul in this video already from what I ordered online which I realized I said I was gonna tell you how I felt on the sizing with all of that and I didn't so I'll do that at the end um 
because I kind of don't want to interrupt right now showing you all this. But anyways, I'm going to show you what I got, like I keep saying. So Victoria's Secret's where I went first. I love the Victoria's Secret at this mall because it is an outlet mall. So it's a Victoria's Secret outlet, meaning it's not like the regular stores. Everything is discounted and um, for my sizing they have a lot more options. So I love it. When I go to the store I normally get quite a bit because of, like I said, more in my size than the regular stores. So first thing I'm super excited about is this bra. Very pretty. The original pricing was $62.50 and I got it for $24.99. So it's very pretty. This is probably like the prettiest bra I have now because like y'all heard me talking about earlier in the Victoria's Secret stuff, I have a very hard time finding my size normally. So I wanted to pick up an actual like cute bra since they had some. Okay, next I have a pair of biker shorts, which I feel like it's very hard to find biker shorts that have the pockets on the side, which I love for like when I'm doing laundry or things around the house because if my phone is too far away and I have AirPods in, it'll disconnect the music and I don't love that. So I like to have things with pockets so that my phone can just be on me. So anyway, these are the pink classic bike short just in black and again pockets on each side and these are in small these are originally $26.94 and i got them for $7.99 holy crap i didn't even know this but honestly highly recommend if y'all ever go to an outlet mall that has a victoria's secret outlet 120 million percent check it out because as you're gonna see i saved a lot of money i'm gonna tell you the total savings at the end but I saved a lot. So next I have a few things that I got for my sister. Um, she paid for my lunch and stuff. So she picked out a few things that she wanted and I got them for her. So this is a pineapple scrub. And this is a hand sanitizer spray. Which I thought would be good for her at work. She can just put it in her bag. And this she picked out. So this was $1.99. No discount on this. And this is normally $18.49 and it was $5.99. I would legit never pay to almost $20 for just this. What? That is insane that they say that's the regular price. Okay. Well, anyway. Definitely check out the outlets because my goodness. All right. Final things are underwear. So they had five for 30. All of these are in size medium. I got the other ones from online in size small which i'll break down the sizing later but um basically i prefer medium is what i figured out so um i got all these in medium we just have a plain pink one which is very similar to some of the ones i got online we have two that are pretty much exactly the same just different colors this one is like a green and this one is blue Again, very similar to the ones I just showed you, except these have like scalloped edges. This one is just a plain like bikini style underwear. And this one is very cute. It has, um, well right now it's inside out so you can't really tell, hold on. It has like flower lace detailing and then these white um, little strap things here say pink. Which I don't love all of the branding that says like Victoria's Secret or pink on it 24-7. But I feel like you can't really get anything that doesn't say that most of the time. So anyways. But each of those underwears was normally going to be $10.49 or $12.49. And I got them all for $3.99. So my total savings from shopping at the outlet versus buying all this at a regular Victoria's Secret was a hundred and five dollars and forty five cents that is absolutely insane to me and it honestly makes me never want to shop at the regular victoria's secret again so there you go especially since they have at least for my sizing they have more options i'm like why would i ever go back to the regular one i will say for underwear i think the regular victoria's secrets have more options um you can tell that a lot of these are just pretty plain, but 
I'm not really into like fancy fancy underwear anyway but the outlet cheaper and for my bra size a lot more options so I love that and they also tend to have a lot of workout wear I've even found in the past a sports bra at this Victoria's Secret and I've never seen a sports bra in my size at a regular Victoria's Secret so just putting that out there I don't know if it's the same with all Victoria's Secret outlets I've only ever been to this one but I do love this one okay y'all I've been chatting forever so I apologize if this vlog is like really long and really just me sitting on this bed showing you stuff I've bought but we're gonna get to the last two stores which is not that much stuff and then I'm probably gonna wrap this up so this outlet mall has a go store so my regular mall that I normally go to only has this for like the holiday times I think and it's like a collapsible one that's like in the center of the stores instead of an actual store this mall had it as an actual store which was very cool they had a lot of puzzles a lot of different games and things like that um squishmallows all kinds of fun stuff in that store and of course i was drawn by the puzzles y'all know my puzzle obsession so i got three new puzzles as if i don't have enough already but that's okay so all of these are 1000 pieces this one is a very pretty one of like a 4th of July scene so there's a cabin with a truck and an American flag and fireworks and stuff so I got this one to do around the time of the 4th of July because I think that would be really fun next I absolutely love this one this is a puzzle from the 2010s so this is again 1000 pieces and there's all kinds of stuff on here that's happened during the 2010s we have like Reddit, Vine, Twitter, Facebook, Lyft, Uber, Fortnite, Captain America, Tesla, Fidget Spinner, <laughs> Bruno Mars, Stranger Things, like so many cool things. Probably my favorite part, um, Netflix, Making a Murderer. That was probably the first true crime show I ever watched and definitely got me obsessed with it. Um, so I loved this and this is basically the era that I grew up in. I mean, I was born in 2002, but like most of my memories are in the 2010s. So I thought this was really cool. And they also have all types of different versions for this. So if you know somebody that really likes puzzles or you really like puzzles and you want to get them like the era that they grew up in or something, that could be really cool. They have the 1980s, the 1990s. Um, I think there's other ones in there, but they just showed those on the back here. They have Christmas one. They have cereal one um a drive-in movie theater one like so many cool different ones that i honestly might collect at some point because i love the puzzles like this where it's like a lot going on because it's just like a lot more fun to do i feel like so there's that and my final puzzle is this really cute cat and yarn one i told y'all in the last vlog that i wanted to get another yarn puzzle because i did one in the last vlog and I wanted to get another one with yarn in it and I couldn't resist the cats in it as well so again 1,000 pieces so my total at this store was $53.47 which I feel like is not bad to be honest for puzzles I feel like they can run really expensive of course if you get them from like Walmart or something they're not going to be as expensive as this but these are a lot more unique than what you're going to find at like Walmart and stuff. So anyways, I really like those. The final store my sister and I went to was not in the mall actually. It was a consignment store that was in like a shopping center outside of the mall. But um, I wanted to go to the Dollar Tree that was right there because I wanted to look and see if they had yarn, which they did. That's going to be in a main channel video. I think I already said that. But um... I'm going to show you the clothes I got at the consignment store, which I'm not going to tell you the name of because I think it's only local to my area and I don't want to give too many details of where I'm at. So, um, anyways, yeah, just two items from here. So we have a pair of jeans, which I feel like I'm always in the market for new jeans. Y'all saw from Goodwill and stuff. I get a lot of tops and stuff and I don't have near as many jeans. So especially at like a consignment store or a thrift store, if I find jeans or jean shorts that fit me really well, 
I'm almost always gonna get them because not only are they cheaper than like at the regular mall, but also I just don't have that many jeans. I mean, I have a lot, but not near as many compared to like tops and stuff. So anyway, um, this is what these look like, which I actually kind of liked that um, they're not like actual holes. There's um, the fabric behind it. I feel like these would be good to wear during the winter time because almost every single pair of my jeans has rips in it and none of them are the rips like this where it has the fabric behind it. So if it is cold outside, I can actually wear these. So anyway, I really liked these. These are American Eagle. The 360 next level stretch is what these are called. These are size four regular and they were $14 at the consignment store. And I got a black pair of shorts. So these are the Lucky brand and they are the High Rise Shorty shorts. And let's see here. The size says two, 226. I don't really know what that means. Okay, size two then which maybe 26 is the measurement around. I honestly have no idea what the 26 means, but the size says two on here. And these were $10, so they're just your regular kind of shorts with a little bit of rips on the bottom area, which again, I live by denim shorts and jeans. That's basically what I wear with like all my outfits. So I feel like I can never have too many to be honest with you. I did just want to give out a little disclaimer that I definitely do not normally buy this big amount of stuff in like a week. It's been like a week for me, but um, this week just happened to be a lot of me buying stuff. I promise I normally don't buy like anything other than yarn. Um, so all of this stuff is kind of a splurge. Just wanted to say that, that I normally don't go this crazy with buying stuff for sure. Um, and after this week, I'm definitely going to be done with buying stuff because I have so many clothes and, um, I need to go through my closet. Y'all probably see that in a vlog soon because, um, I have a lot of clothes that I don't wear that I need to donate and a lot of new clothes that don't really have hangers and stuff to go on because of the old clothes. So I need to take care of that soon. Um, so y'all can let me know if you actually do want to see that in a vlog. And, um, also let me know what y'all thought of everything I got. And if you enjoyed, I am going to give you a little rundown really quick of the sizing on everything from Victoria's Secret, because I told you I would do that. Um, all the stuff that I just showed you I know fits me, because at Goodwill and the consignment store I tried everything on. At Victoria's Secret, the outlet one, they don't have try-on rooms, but I'm pretty familiar with my sizing. Especially after getting the online order from Victoria's Secret, I knew what I wanted in different sizes. So, like I told you, all of these from today are in a medium and that fits me really well. The ones that I got in small are just a little bit smaller than I would like. They still fit, so like I'm not going to return them or anything, but a medium is just a little bit more of a more comfortable fit for me. So. That's what I'm going to be getting from now on. I used to get smalls, but my weight kind of fluctuates. And so now I'm going to be getting mediums from there. So now on to the bras. I just went and got them so that I can show y'all and explain to you a little bit what I'm meaning about the sizing on the bras. So for the two bras that I got with the online order that were small double D and medium double D, they fit me pretty well, which I was surprised by. They are a little bit small as far as like this area and a little bit spillage, but um, I'm not too worried about that. I expected that because these are small double D. I normally would be a triple D, but they don't make the small medium as triple D. So I had to go with double D. Um, but they're not near as small as I expected, to be honest. So, I'm going to keep them. They're fine with me. Just know if you are truly a triple D, you'll probably be okay. 
but if you're any more than a triple D, you probably will not fit in the um, small or medium or large double D. That is it for these two. And then as far as the regular bras, so this one is in my regular cup size as well as this one. They actually seem to fit a little bit smaller than I'm used to. So I think the difference must be the wires because I bought these without wires. And these both are a little smaller than I would like them to be. But again, am I gonna return them? No. This one, I was able to actually cross the back, which you can see um, a lot of their bras do that, where you can just unhook and then cross them, and that seemed to fix the problem for me. Um, I don't love wearing my bras like this just because they're a little more difficult to get on and off, but um, in order for it to fit better, I did wear it like this, and it worked. I actually just got this one out of the hamper because I wore it all day yesterday. And this one I've not actually worn yet, but when I tried it on, it did have the same problem as that bra. But it does have the option as well to unhook and change to the other side. So I'm assuming that it'll be the same as the other one and kind of fix the problem of um, the spillage here. Which is just very weird to me that the ones that I actually bought in my normal size don't really fit normal and then the ones that I kind of took a risk on and thought weren't gonna fit did fit so I don't know that's another thing about shopping online you just can never really tell um the only thing I'm gonna ever really get online probably is underwear and these that are sized in small or medium double d just because I actually know that these work for me now but as far as the bras, it's honestly so hard to tell, like, if there's padding on the inside or what the deal is. And I think that really affects the sizing, even if you get your regular size. Okay, last thing you all saw me get from Victoria's Secret that I wanted to tell you about, because I am obsessed with these, y'all, is the leggings. So, I'm probably going to order these in more colors, to be honest. I don't think I'm going to do it now, because I did obviously spend a lot of money at different stores recently. But, um... In the coming months I will probably buy more of these in more colors because I'm obsessed with the way they fit around my hips and the way they flare at the leg I feel like normal leggings that I have from Victoria's Secret when they taper at the ankle they're a little bit tight and a little bit hard to get on and off and then um, I prefer almost all my pants to be more high-waisted and the regular leggings are not high-waisted at all so I don't love that either so these have the best of both worlds in my opinion the cross thing goes up onto your hips which again great and the flare and they are so so comfy so I also had to get these out of my hamper because I wore them yesterday and the day before when I got them and tried them on I did not take them off I just kept them on anyways y'all that is it for this video i have talked so long about clothes and stuff so i apologize if it isn't interesting to you i hope it was because um obviously if it wasn't then i don't know why you even clicked on this video to be honest but um i hope you liked it if you did please give it a big thumbs up if you guys want to see more vlogs from me or just more videos on this channel because honestly this wasn't even really a vlog it was just a haul <laughs> but um if you guys do want to see more from this channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below and turn on the post notification bell. That way you know every single time I upload a brand new video. And if you do want to check out these items, obviously I can't list the stuff from like Goodwill or the consignment store, but I will list the stuff from Victoria's Secret, especially the stuff I got online because that's pretty easy to find links for. If I can find links for the stuff I got in store at Victoria's Secret, then I will. But again, that was the outlet store, so I'm not sure if they'll actually still have that stuff. Um, I can also try to find links for the puzzles, but again, no guarantees on any of that, but all the stuff I can find will be included in the description box below for you guys if you do want to check it out. And with all of that, thank you guys so much for watching this video, and I will see you guys here 
on Wednesdays on this vlog channel as well as on Mondays and Fridays on my main channel. Goodbye!